Hey, hi there you guys, Leo. Welcome to my channel, and thank you for tuning into those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading for October 18th to the 20th of 2019. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is a condensed general reading. Please only take the portions that resonate with you. Okay, Leo, off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number 19 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Sun. This can be an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The Sun is also your ruling celestial body, Leo. This can be you. This is attainment, liberation, and fulfillment. Brightens any negative cards in a reading. Can represent material happiness, success, a good marriage. Can be happy reunions and pleasures in a simple life. It's letting your light shine. There's contentment and joy and freedom and a sense of rebirth and simplicity. Fears and mysteries vanish with this card. There's optimism and excitement and fresh opportunities. Everything becomes simple. A cycle can, become, be, can, can begin anew. It's good things that now come into your life. It's achievement. It's new beginnings and now nothing can hold you back except yourself. It's all systems go. It reveals everything, and you'll benefit by sharing your true feelings. There's radiance, optimism, clarity, the hard work being behind you. You're being warm and optimistic and joyful, fortunate and charismatic. It might be outgoing, being playful and successful, confident and a leader, and all is going right for you. second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path, which can be a challenge. The Five of Swords, Leo, air energy. This is a card of adversary. It's battling with words. It's using someone using an excessive will. It would be a high cost of victory would be bitter. It's advice not to judge before you know everything. There's storm clouds and wind. You may be the conqueror or the conquered. There may be misunderstandings. You might have to defend yourself. It's advice to avoid a battle that cannot be won. It's limitation and also power. The figure holding the sword represents the person, the enemy, or the situation. This can be a difficult card showing defeat and weakness and humiliation. You'll need to avoid negative people and drama. There could be ego-involved issues. Someone might have felt they were stepped on, so they retaliate. It would be petty. It can be an unhealthy competition with friction and hostility and tension. This is... Actually, you should try, try to go slow, or you may pay more than you actually get, or you can deprave yourself from benefit. The sword is double-edged. One edge is defeat, misfortune, betrayal, and loss, and the other edge gives us advice to learn to accept the boundaries we must live within. All the fives are about a judgment, are about adjust, adjustment. Sorry. This can be a change that's brought on by distress or loss. It's an uncomfortable but necessary change and adjustment. Or you may be blinded by a situation. You need to wait to judge. You do not have enough information. So choose your battles and try not to overreact. The sun with the five of swords. This card shines a light on petty behavior of others. Shines a light on their mind games or power games. And this can be fighting for something to come to light. And now your third card. This is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. Another five, Leo, the five of wands. This is fire energy. This is struggle. It's competition. Two fives represents vigils. Um, it brings in a feeling of instability with two fives. This five of wands is a uh, 
uncertainty. It's shifting vibrations. It's unrest. It's new factors that come in and change. You need to change and adapt and grow. It's a competition in social or career areas. You might have to put in more effort to keep what you've already gained. All fives are pivotal turning points. This can be mediation and challenge and struggle, petty obstacles and annoyances, short-term difficulties and communication, and once that's overcome, it can change things for the better. People could be fighting. This can also be a building site, workshop, a creative chaos, carpenters, scaffolders. It's okay to jump in. This process may be messy, but it's worth it. It can be a competition of some sort, a card of ordeals, tests, lawsuits, mediation. Watch out for trickery or fraud. This is a new rush of energy. Try not to indulge in any petty hassles and annoyances. You might be feeling agitated or competitive or contentious, combative, confused. People may be bickering or struggling to unify disparities. They could be jockeying for position, restructuring, brainstorming, working at cross-purposes, and enjoying rivalries. Could be family rivalries. You'll need to agree to disagree. This could be real, real or pr playful rivalry. The Five of Swords with the Five of Wands, this is a fierce competition. And make sure and take care not to be set up. Others may provide words that you would use against someone else. So be careful not to be set up that way. And now your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Six of Pentacles, Leo, Earth Energy. This is a card of equal give and take. It's sharing justly. It's good things coming to you or going out for, from you. Sometimes this can refer to a, a Libra. This is the give and take of money. Someone's moon and Taurus. It's giving and receiving, equality and fairness and gifts. Money owed will be paid and prosperity should be shared with others. This can be a win-win situation. This is using your money to make more money. But if you only give thinking that it will make good karma, then that is a selfish act. It has to do with financial flow and charity and assistance and giving back, generosity, paying it back, and not being too proud to accept help from those who have more. This is the card that reminds us that what goes around comes around. This can be a work bonus, an investor, a prosperous future, Partners that are kind and generous towards each other. This is a good omen regarding money. There's fairness here. It's using your abundance to help others and a feeling of relief at receiving assistance. Karma. Cause and effect. No financial stress. This can be an investment. It can be a business transaction. The Five of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. This could represent someone that might be taking advantage of the poor. And the sun with the five of wands, this is being recognized. There is a positive restlessness. And there could be someone that's standing out in a crowd. And the five of wands with the six of pentacles, this can represent computer games. Maybe that's what the stiff and fierce competition is about. Let me know in the comments. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Seven of Pentacles, Leo. Earth energy. A card of stepping back, taking stock, looking at what you've already accomplished. There could be some anxiety because you're impatient. It could have to do with money and all the time and effort you've put into what you're doing. It takes patience. And you're aiming for the long-term growth and not instant rewards. It's reevaluation. You're still waiting for that success. It's pause and assessment. It's looking back and rethinking about whether you're on the right path, and some readjustment may be needed. You're not failing. You are learning, and you are questioning your standpoint and looking from a different perspective. This can be a difficult decision between security and risk. Warns not to stop for long because of all those past efforts will only come to fruition through consistent effort. 
It's the completion of a phase. It's being concerned, impatient for results. You're second-guessing efforts. You're learning from feedback. Could even be going through your budget. It's reaching a milestone and taking stock and taking care of your possessions and valuing your investments. This can be routines at work. It can be an outside job or, or wanting a more satisfying job. And the sun with the six of pentacles, this is someone that's giving and nurturing, could be helping children, could also be someone dependent in the center of it all. It's power in financial matters over someone that can be dependent on you. And the sun with the seven of pentacles, this is the right environment for growth. It feels slow, there's optimism, but you're impatient about it. And now here's your advice from the oracle deck. Ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. Self-esteem, Leo, card number 16, from your guardian angel. Self-esteem, from your guardian angel, Michael. It has to do with integrity, self-expression, boundaries, and convictions. You may feel like the odd man out right now, as others may not fully appreciate or support your ideas or perspectives. In fact, you might be feeling discounted altogether. Fortunately, the guardian angel Michael is present to help you remain grounded and centered, even in such times as being challenged or misunderstood. He counsels you to remain true to yourself and steadfast in your convictions, even if they aren't shared with those around you. Very synchronistic with the fives there. He counsels that you remain true to yourself. Yes, it can be scary to go against the crowd and stand up for what you believe in, especially when it's unpopular or possibly ahead of its time. But Michael stands by you and reminds you that this is part of becoming a spiritually mature soul. It helps you ignore popular opinion and stay true to your heart. Don't seek approval or doubt yourself when you don't receive it. Instead, Michael encourages you to stand in your full spiritual adulthood and claim your self-esteem by trusting what you feel and believe in. Do not abandon yourself to win approval of the moment, and don't be afraid to take a stand. After all, this is how you'll become the true leader of your own life. Thanks, you guys, Leo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.